Hey, happy Sunday. Welcome back to the Den of Iniquity that is Ken Shavy and BSing, home of your original Big Shave Best Champion, as always. And today, yes, I said that I would have a shave yesterday to see if this, the world's finest razor with a feather blade, could be a daily driver. Ran into a bit of a problem. Good problem. Since I shaved Friday at, it was about 10 a.m., I believe, the problem was that by the time I was getting up to do a shave for Saturday, I didn't quite have a full day's growth. In fact, the shave was so good that I had to let it go another day. It it really was close. It I mean, it wasn't until almost you know past midday that I was like, yeah, I could probably shave now. So hey, sorry, I I meant well. Plans didn't go to plan, right? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do another shave of the world's finest razor with essentially now two days growth so let's get into it now the shower clean a hydrate ready to go uh it's it's getting hot again in, in texas until this coming friday like the 16th so i want something cool so we're gonna break out the awesome sauce and we're just gonna use some perazzo products keep it basic pre-shave and uh, soap yeah, I'll just grab a, let's see, eh, let's just go, let's go with the rich man shaving brush. World's finest razor, feather blade, already one shaved down. This is going to be nice, cool, light, it's going to feel good in the heat, nothing fancy. No, I don't have the soap. The way I look at it now, I have so many soaps that if I want to scent, I'll just get the aftershave and I'll use a neutral soap of some sort, so. You know, or if I have something that's supposed to go with the line. I'm sure the Awesome Sauce soap smells amazing. You know, considering, you know, how good Awesome Sauce, the aftershave cologne smells. But, man, eh, it's just an expense I did not want to make. All right, so we get the hot water, get the warm water going. Yeah, we're having these like 60, 90 kind of days. Uh, in fact, yesterday got up. Actually, on my phone, I think it hit 99. October. But Texas weather, it's always chaotic. We don't really start cooling down till about mid-October. And mid-October is literally on its way. We're close, but not quite, right? But the 16th would be just about mid-October. All right. So let the face. I'm going to let the razor warm up so I'll have the running water going. Little Perazzo uh, pre shave. This stuff is actually nice uh, since I got it off a of leftover at a pith table. I can see why many wet shavers really enjoy it. I think it does an excellent job. I think there is a blue one now. It's in a more of a better looking jar. And the blue is my favorite Perazzo scent. So, all right. So, Rich Man brush, Perazzo soap. Dip it in the cup here. Shake it out. Slather up some eucalyptus and menthol. And a little more water. It's, I wore Atomic Pumpkin aftershave yesterday as my scent of the day. Problem was, it got up in the 90s, the high 90s, and as great as that scent is, oh. <laughs> It doesn't make you feel fresh. <laughs> in a hot day environment. So, wasn't the best call <laughs> there. I have, to, I have to say something. I had a really dumb comment on my video for the Lee shaving stick. Guy said, 
use the product for three shaves or three people or something like that. I don't even remember because it's so dumb. I'm like, do you, boo boo? I'll use as much product as I want. You use as much product as you want. See, that kind of criticism makes a commenter look stupid because this is an individual game. Like I say, do what you think is right. Do what makes you feel happy for your shave. Commenting on the volume of someone else's product use is not your concern. People get on Ken's surfs because they think his lathers are too thin. Not your concern. It's his shave. People get on Kevy's shaves for lathering for 20 minutes. I know part of that's tongue in cheek because he I think he does it on purpose. Again, not your concern if you're if you're being a dick about it. <laughs> Feels great. To steal the quote from Chris Bailey, it's your shave, do it your way. There are certain things that are true about shaving. Watch your technique, take your time, find the best razor and blade pairing. Do what works for you. But when it comes to the amount of product a person uses, you might as well be commenting on, oh, that's a bad scent. Who cares? <laughs> it's people like you that just stay on Reddit. <laughs> so let's get into the shave. Enough about that idiot. Um, feels great. I mean... Could this be a daily shave razor? Yeah, I think so. I mean, yesterday, I probably could have woken up, and, you know, I could have done my, like, one against the grain pass and been you know, I'm good to go. I went to a pumpkin patch, you know, it was, so it was outdoors. It wasn't like I was going to a boardroom presentation, but, but in all reality, I could have done that one pass and looked like I still could go another day before needing a shave for sure. I mean, my shave was so good Friday that, like I said, just just didn't need a shave at 22 hours of growth.
but I can tell right now my face feels great. Puppy, calm down. She's old. <laughs> She's a good girl, but she's, she's, she'll be 13 like her old man here will be 48. I don't feel or look 48, you know, that's the thing. I don't know what that means. No, 47, we'll be 48 in the end of January. Okay, so with my speed, creepers came in. But they'll close. Little album block. Alright, let's stop here. No need to push any further. Neck feels great. <laughs> Alright, let's get some cool water. We'll get that Allen block going. All right, so let's talk feedback. Well, the spots that were the creepers actually weren't that bad. The only problem is right here. I wanna get those big hairs. Yeah, daily driver, very, very likely. So I would say yes. <sighs> Depending on your skin tolerance, it could be a daily driver for me, no problem. I think I just I just got such a good shave um, Friday that it just made a made a Saturday shave just irrelevant. It would have been pointless to do it. And I still got some hairs being a being a bit of a pud there. Hang on, let's hit that up. Puff of air in the cheek and you're good. All right, let's rinse the brush out. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I think uh, what you get with this razor it's still a it's still a four out of five for me. The, the price point, I mean, if you can find out in the wild a Gillette new, you know, great. If you want something that's an homage to the Gillette new, and it's the only thing on the market that is an homage to the Gillette new, then you're going to pay what you're going to pay. In terms of quality of shave, it's a, it's a great performing razor, no doubt. 
apothecary bottle. <laughs> Actually, it's not an apothecary bottle, is it, really? Mm, fresh and clean. Nice. All right. That was some awesome sauce, for sure. Literally and figuratively. So, is the world's finest razor with a feather blade, can it be a daily driver? For the vast majority of you out there, very likely, if you're a daily shaver. 316L stainless steel, great construction, great knurling, beautiful finish. Yes, made in China versus elsewhere. But, price point, still the killer. Still the killer at 165 Fine could have priced this at 125 For the material, better. Um... It probably, at its source, with the material, 99 probably would have better been a better valuation for it. Because, again, you can get a Rockwell 6S for that. Um, and that's adjustable, effectively. You're just... I think at 165 I mean, the Rex is probably the mo one of the most expensive ones out there, right? But you get adjustability, American craftsmanship, you know, you get a lot of things with it. So you got to weigh that in. So I, in and of the Razor's performance, wonderful, perfect. Hey, stop that. Um, definitely, uh, definitely a great razor. I think it does quite well. It's the type of shave I like. Speaking of Chris, um, he made, he made a comment on, on my last video about, it's too mild for him. Well, he likes more blade exposure, and that's a good thing. If he talks about it, and I talk about it, and a few other reviewers, Ken Serves, let's say, and I don't know who else got the razor to do a review, just grabbing some names. It's good that you get all these different opinions, you know, mine, Ken's, Chris's, um, whoever else, um, because we're all different. That's why it's an individual thing. If you like, if you're not a blade feel person, you like comfort, it's a great razor, but price is, I think it's really overpriced. Um, I don't, I, that's, I got going to harp on that because to me, that's the one negative. You can't, I mean, unless you want to talk about being, it being made in China. Um, if you want to stick to the razor itself, the price is too high. The finish is great. The shave is great. I don't know what else to tell you. It's, it works very well, but the price is a, is a bit of a, a, a sticking point to say the least. All right, with that, I'm going to get out of here. As always, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Cheers, too sweet, as always, to the good brothers and good sisters out there. Champ loves you, and I will see you in the next shave.